No, I'm not getting my butt done. Okay. I didn't know they were gonna bandage me like this either. <laughs> What's up you guys welcome back to another vlog and this is going to be my surgery vlog so first and foremost i'm just gonna say i'm not promoting surgery this is just what i'm doing in my life and i'm sharing it with you guys because that's what vlogs are and if you're against surgery or you know any kind of cosmetic transformation or anything like that feel free to click out the video now i think this is my first actual surgery video and it probably won't be the last i'm just saying so it's 8 30 right now in the morning i have to be to the office at 12 p.m i took my last shower with the bar soap and my skin is so dry right now like it's bad like i have to really put lotion by the bedside my face might be a little dry too because i wash my face with it too so i had to stop eating last night at 4 a.m but I obviously stopped before that. Um, I did stay up late though. I was watching Housewives of Atlanta and you know, just, I was just up, but I still woke up on time and um, I just put on the sweatsuit that I told you guys about, the um, H&M um, sweatsuit. I hope they don't have a hard time getting these on me. They're not tight. They wanted like loose fitting sweats, but these are loose fitting kinda, you know, for me, I mean, their pants they're gonna take a second to get on so um i'm about to start putting my stuff in my car and then headed to panera bread to get my soups and this is everything that i'm taking right there that's like my food i have my juices my water is already in my trunk and this is just stuff. No, I'm not getting my butt done. I know those pillows make people think that you're getting your butt done, but I just feel like it kind of helps me to sit up. Like I put it like around my back to sit up because I have to sleep sitting up. So that's why um, I have that pillow. So you guys have probably seen in my other videos, I got the Kybella done under here. Well, you guys aren't, you can't, I have lost a little weight, but yeah, so you can't really see, but it's like right under here, like there was no change. I just want like a more shaped face. Like I'm not trying to like change my face, but I just feel like it's kind of always like bugged me. And now that I know that you can change it, I was like, I got the money, let me change it. And I'm also getting my um, bra, like around my bra roll area, around my boobs. Um, lipo there. I don't know if I've told you guys before that I did have, um, when I got my boobs done, I went smaller and I have naturally bigger boobs. So you just kind of got to keep it, you know, together, especially if I want my boobs done again. Plus this doctor charges different than the doctor in California. So I was like, let me just go ahead and get that done. And also my arms. So yeah it's pretty much it's an, i told you guys it wasn't going to be nothing like super crazy like i'm not getting a you know whole body makeover like i do like my body okay there's just little tweaks that i just want to make and um i'm going to do that today kind of it was kind of expensive just for the little things that i am doing um i bet if i went out of the country or something it would have been a lot cheaper but i've never done that and I got all my surgeries right here in America and that's what I plan to do. You do pay a lot more, but that's just what I'm comfortable with right now. So Dr. Smith is going to be performing my surgery. You guys have seen me going to the office all throughout my um, past video and, and when I got the consultation and all that. So you'll see when I get ready to walk in. so I'm at my mom's house you can hear her loud voice but I just set up everything okay I just set up everything in my room where I'm gonna be staying and 
um, some salting crackers by my bed. I put an energy bar, which I probably won't want to eat yet, but most likely I'll just be eating these crackers tonight. Maybe some soup, doubt it. And then I put the times of to take all of the meds right beside my bed, just in case, you know, I forget. Um, I put this water, but I think I might have to put a smaller one because I brought straws um and these straws are going to be too short to go in this big water so i might have to change that out i have some hand sanitizer right here a trash can i have the roses right here there's a candle that she put there and then on my bed so this pillow um the pillow i'm gonna kind of put it like around my back so i can sit up um even though she has all these pillows i might not need it because she has like a bunch of pillows then I just put my computer over there with a book in the remotes. And then, yeah, that's pretty much everything. And then I just brought this bag with um, a toothbrush, face wash, and soap, and more eye drops if I need it. And I also put eye drops right beside the table because you know I have to keep my eyes um, really, I'm sorry y'all, like, my lips are dry, my face is dry, my whole body is dry right now because i can't put on anything can't eat nothing can't drink nothing and you can't put on lotion so um i have all my meds in my bag ready to go this is my surgery bag i really don't have anything in it i might put the gatorade in there and take that i'm not sure also i couldn't pick up my soups because i did not know that um you they don't start serving soup at panera until 10 30 so i'm about to go over there now because it's 10 15 now and i went over there at like 8 30 so yeah i have everything i forgot my computer charger so we're gonna have to stop by my house on the way to surgery so yeah which is not bad because i kind of live um close to it so yeah i need to get that i need my charger for my computer because i have stuff that i want to work on i'm supposed to check in at 12 but they said we'll call you to let you know what time to come so i'm just gonna leave it at that and wait on their call so i just got back from panera bread i got I just got four of these cups of vegetable soups because these are the only kind that are vegan at Panera. And then I just grabbed my mom and brother some chicken noodle soup. Um, and I got the bread to go with that because it'll kind of like fill me up a little bit more, especially if I'm a little bit more hungry. Um, maybe like tomorrow or the next day. Right now I am starving. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. I'm like really hungry right now because I haven't got to eat and I can't eat until maybe tomorrow sometime i don't know but um yeah so i'm still just waiting for the call i'm still not nervous i don't need to take the volume or anything but i do have to take a sip of gatorade before i go all right so i just got the text that i can make my way over to the surgery center <gasps> i'm ready i do this this is not even that big a deal so i'm gonna take my sip of gatorade mom how do you feel about your daughter Tina. I'm just here, man. Whatever you cut off, I'm just here. Whatever you cut off. <laughs> so, you see, you know, as long as my family, you know, support what I be doing, that's all that matter. That's all that matter. So I guess that's a sip. For the next couple parts, it's gonna be on my phone and um, my mom's phone. Cause I don't want to take my computer. I mean, my big camera. Cause they always say don't bring valuables, and you know, uh, your phone is just more discreet. You want to walk in with the big old camera. Everyone like, okay, what are you doing? All right, okay. See you in a minute. I love you. See you when you get out.
like 40 minutes probably an hour i don't know i'm trying to be nice here we go y'all i'm really doing this okay look so now i'm just waiting for the iv draw all over my arms well, i was not able to do the urine sample because i don't really have to go to the bathroom so i'm just waiting for that and then i'll be able to go get my iv so i'm just chilling waiting trying to think about going to the bathroom hopefully that helps they just try to take me back they weren't they didn't really have like communication i guess because i just went back and i didn't have an iv or anything so usually when you walk back to the table you're already half sleepy because usually when i remember i've seen the table i'm already half sleepy like i don't care but right now when i just walked in there and i haven't had any medication or anything i freaked out so i came back and i also let them know like i haven't had a urine sample can you guys hear me hold on let me turn this heater off just finally able to go to the bathroom like a little bit i hope it's enough for them to get the um test now i'm just waiting to get my iv here they come finally like keep your hand really steady you don't have to pump it up or anything just keep your fingers kind of bent okay. that's going to just allow for me to put this iv in without you moving and grooving okay, okay? taking the um what is this the muscle relaxer mm -hmm. oh the hydro, the hydro no. um i haven't been taking any volumes wait ew my smile is weird hold on there's something on my mouth <coughs> i need to practice smiling kind of hurts to smile right now mm -hmm. okay you ready mm -hmm. Those taste gross. It kind of hurts to smile, like on this side. So I'm not gonna do that. I'm just trying to see. I completely cannot use my arms, which is weird. Um, like. If I do anything, I have to like, I'm using my hands, but I have to, you know, bring myself to it. They're completely like bandaged up. Um, they're just sore. They don't like hurt completely. Ready? Mm -hmm. My mouth is starting to be sore, like my jaw. I. It wasn't earlier, like I could open my mouth, but now that I've been in and out of sleep, I guess it's just, um, starting to feel it, huh? yeah, I'm All starting to feel it. Stuff so tomorrow I might probably be the sorest, but I'm not in pain. Um, this was my first time throwing up after um, taking anesthesia. I never have before, so I'm like, what was different? But honestly, they wanted me to drink this like protein shake that they gave me, which I've never done. And after I drank that, it was just like, no, it was not good. And mm -mm. Yeah, we don't want to keep this then, no. 
<laughs> not really. I'd rather drink a green juice tomorrow or okay. yeah. I haven't, I still haven't ate today, but I'm just not hungry and my mouth, like it doesn't move right. So like, you see, like I keep, I don't know if I should be um, trying to smile and stuff, but I want to make sure I can. I look really crazy. Can you fix my bun? <laughs> what do you want me to do to it? Just put it in a real bun? I don't know what Where's they Where's your hair hat? Oh, oh, oh my God, look what they did. Why did they do that? Because they don't know how to do your hair. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, Tina, this looks there. Do you like that? No, it's fine. Okay. At least it's up. Okay. okay. So I'm gonna be completely using my legs and my abs to be moving around because I cannot use my arms at all. Um my face is kind of swollen. My arms, I don't know, I can't look at them. I still have the zip up hoodie from uh, surgery. Um, everything went well, ooh, ouch. Sorry for the angle, but this is all how I gotta hold my um, camera. <laughs> um, my mom's been coming in like every hour, and as you can see, I still, I can't even like lift my arms at all. So, um, but I do be trying to move them, just like I was over here trying to smile and stuff like, Cause I don't want my body to get stuck, you know. Even though it's the first day, I probably be shouldn't be doing anything. I haven't been on my phone at all all day. I know people are like, "What the heck?" Or is she okay? But I'll answer tomorrow. Cause I don't even want to hold my phone. Um. Yeah. Um. I'm still super super dry. Um. The one thing I forgot for my bedside was um chapstick, but my mom had some. I have all my snacks, but I just not have been in the mood to eat anything. Mm. Yeah, so my jaw, like underneath is starting to get sore. That's why I can't really like move it right. But during surgery, when I went in there, like I could see everything and I didn't really like that, that I could see like all the tools and everything that they were about to use. So I was kind of like, okay, what the hell? Like. And they're just like lay down and then started putting in the meds and i actually had to ask him like can you please start putting in the meds because i don't like seeing everything like they were like strapping me up and all that and i didn't want to see that and previous surgeries by the time they were doing all that i was already like drowsy i need to scratch my eye hold on i guess the um nurse who had to put my IV in she was kind of like you know dealing with other stuff because she came in later so she was kind of running behind the doctor seemed a little irritated by that too so I was like oh lord I don't want no irritated doctor doing no surgery on me my left arm I feel more um like more stiff and which is weird because my left arm is my strongest even though I'm not uh left-handed um I'm about to get off here in a minute because when I'm up moving around, I start to get like, my stomach starts to hurt. That's why I don't really want to eat yet. Um, yeah, I'm able to go to the bathroom because I'm kind of hunched over so I can like wipe, you know, a little TMI, but, um, <laughs> but yeah, I wasn't, I didn't know they were going to bandage me like this either. I thought I was going to have like one of those little elastic headbands. I didn't know my ears were going to be covered and everything. I left out anything right now about the day of today's the day of well it's the day after because it's three now but um yeah just let me know in the comments if you want to know anything so i can't nothing looks different about my face right now it looks swollen but yeah we'll see i'm about to go back to sleep that's all i've been doing all day been in and out of sleep that's what i'm gonna 